The first question that comes to mind is why? I own a number of different digital and analog cameras, so why would I want the Fujifilm Instax Mini Evo? Every camera brings something to my photography, whether it is the speed of the Nikon Z9, the manual control and nostalgia of the original Nikon F, the unique panoramic format of the Hasselblad X-Pen, or even the portability of my iPhone. So what does the Instax Mini Evo bring to my photography? Honestly, it's just really a lot of fun. Fujifilm calls the Instax Mini Evo a hybrid camera because it is a digital camera and an analog printer all in one. You can load a pack of 10 pieces of paper into the camera and by simply winding the lever, the camera will print and develop your photo. There is an indicator on the screen that shows how many pieces of paper you have left. The camera has some internal memory, but you can also add a micro SD card that will hold more photos. One of my favorite things about the Instax Mini Evo is that you can capture a bunch of photos and then choose which ones to print. You can print multiple copies of the same photo and share them with your friends. Not only that, but the Mini Evo can even print photos wirelessly from my iPhone using the Instax Mini Evo app. In addition to that, I can transfer photos that I captured on the Mini Evo wirelessly to my phone. The Mini Evo is only a 4.9 megapixel camera, but that is more than enough for the Instax print size. Something that makes the Instax Mini Evo lots of fun is the different film effects and lens effects. There are 10 film effects like vivid, retro, monochrome, and sepia, and you select them by scrolling with a dial on the top of the back of the camera. There are also some lens effects like light leak, blur, multiple exposure, mirror, and half and half. You select the different lens effects by rotating the dial around the lens on the front of the camera. You can combine film and lens effects, and that is why Fujifilm advertises that there are 100 different combinations of effects. The third thing that makes the Mini Evo lots of fun is the ability to control and adjust the camera. When it comes to autofocus, the camera uses single servo autofocus. So there is one focus point in the middle of the frame, and you can hold the shutter release button partway down and focus, and then recompose, and both the focus and the exposure will lock. This method of focusing and recomposing is how I used to focus with my earlier film cameras, so it's familiar to me. But this means that the camera isn't great for fast moving subjects. One feature I really like is that I can use exposure compensation and brighten or darken my scene. It is also important to me that I can turn off the flash as I would rather not use it. Finally, I love the stylish retro look of the Mini Evo. It's a gorgeous camera. However, the camera is made out of plastic and does have a plastic feel. I wish it were a bit more sturdy, but I understand that the plastic makes it lighter to carry around. My biggest complaint about the camera is that the screen is not very bright. It is difficult to view at an angle and can be hard to see the image on the screen in bright sunlight. Overall, the Instax Mini Evo makes capturing images a lot of fun. You can find a scene that might not seem exciting, but with a few rotations of the dials you can capture some really cool photos. The camera allows me to slow down like I do when shooting film, but also allows me to capture a number of photos and pick only the ones that I want to print. I don't have to worry about wasting film and can still try a number of different options for composition and effects. And I can share those photos with other people quickly and immediately. The Instax Mini Evo really is the best of both the digital and the analog worlds rolled into one camera. If you like the content I am creating, please consider subscribing. Thanks so much.